guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a simple poly gel um, nail set using dual forms usually when I do my nails I use tips but I wanted to show a different way to do poly gel because dual forms are very easy dual forms are very easy when you're doing a simple look like this one that I'm doing so first we're starting out with the nail prep I didn't put on any primer or base coat because I was actually gonna take these nails off right after this video I just want to show you guys how to apply the dual forms with the poly gel you're probably doing your nails for real so definitely add that dehydrator and primer and base coat when you're doing your nail prep I sized out all the dual forms and if a dual form didn't fit my nail I just made sure to file down the sides so that it would fit my nail perfectly When you're using a dual form, make sure if this one size is too big or one size is too small, make sure to always use the bigger size and either file down to fit your exact nail or just use the bigger size and then when you add the poly gel and cure it, you can file off the excess poly gel after it's cured. I'm using my Model 1's Light Apricot color as the poly gel. And I'm using my 91% isopropyl alcohol as the slip solution. I just took some poly gel and added it to the dual form. You want to add more poly gel in the middle and as you move the poly gel to the edges you want to make it thinner. So thicker in the middle of the dual form and thinner near the edges of the dual form. This way you won't get as much poly gel squishing out of the nail when you put it on. I realized that I did it on the wrong side of the dual form. If you noticed that and you were screaming at me, I'm sorry. When I put that on my nail and it didn't fit, I was very frustrated. Anyway, I just moved it to the correct side of the dual form. Don't mess up like I did. I don't even know how I managed to mess that up. Now I'm applying the dual form the correct way and I'm pressing down but not too hard because if you press down too hard then you'll just squish out all the poly gel that you just put there. I made sure to stick it down and made sure it was actually on my nail and not like any air bubbles under there or anything. I made sure to clean around the edges in case I had any poly gel um, gushing out. And I made sure to clean under on the underside so that there wasn't a lump, like there wasn't a lump where, where my real nail and then the poly gel was. And then I cured for 30 seconds. Make sure you cure underneath too. Now I am popping off the dual form. It was kind of hard for me to pop it off so I just put some alcohol on the end of my spatula and then popped off the dual form. And that's how it looks. I love when you just take off the dual form. It's so satisfying. Now I'm just wiping it off with some alcohol. So to take off the sticky layer. Because if you don't wipe that off, then it'll get, um, it'll clog up your um, nail file. I'm just shaping this thumbnail because I was really impatient and wanted to see how it would look. But I do go on and do the other nails too. <laughs> Now I'm just wiping off all the dust and moving on to my other fingers. Once again, I'm adding a bead of poly gel and smoothing out the poly gel to where it's thicker in the middle, in the center of the dual form and thinner near the edges of the dual form. And 
I am placing it on. I'm holding it with my other finger and cleaning, on, cleaning up the underside. And cleaning around the cuticle. Now that I am finished with all the nails and cured them for 30 seconds, I am popping off all the dual forms. I decided to save this till the last part because it is so satisfying. Now I am shaping them. And making sure to really get around that cuticle with my nail file because of the excess that um, was left behind. When you're working with dual forms, sometimes the nail may not come out correct. You might have put not enough poly gel or maybe you put too much, but that's all right because you can always go back and add more on top of the nail that you've formed. Now I'm using my e-file with this cylinder bit to get around the cuticle to make sure that it's really sealed. Here's what my nails look like after they've been filed and shaped. Now I am buffing the nails to make sure there's not many scratches in them. Now I'm using my Model 1's matte top coat and adding a layer to all the nails. Now I am adding some cuticle oil to finish off the look. And here are the final results. I love the way these nails turned out. They were so easy to do and they honestly only took me like 
45 minutes. If you are a beginner, I would recommend using the dual forms, except they do take practice. So if you don't get it on your first try, don't worry. When I first tried dual forms, I could not get it on the first try. It was so hard to do it by myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.